Picture the streets of Louisville in the 1950s. The hum of vintage cars, children playing, the scent of hope and ambition in the air. Here, in this slice of Americana, began the extraordinary journey of a boy named Cassius Clay. This wasn't just any journey, but one that would see him dance in the boxing ring, challenge societal norms, and touch hearts globally. But how did a stolen bicycle catalyze the making of The Greatest? And how did this young boy transform into Muhammad Ali, a global icon who transcended the confines of sport? As we lace up our gloves to delve deeper, prepare to spar with tales of determination, faith, adversity, and triumph. It's time to rediscover Muhammad Ali, not just as the champion boxer, but as the multifaceted legend whose story continues to inspire. Nestled amidst the urban sprawl and southern charm of 1950s Louisville, a young boy named Cassius Clay faced what he thought was a devastating loss, his stolen bicycle. This minor event, however, inadvertently pushed him to a local boxing gym. Under the watchful eye of Joe Martin, Cassius didn't just sculpt his physique, he molded a mindset of a champion. Fight after fight, he showcased prodigious talent. His unyielding spirit in the ring led him to capture six Kentucky Golden Gloves titles, two National Golden Gloves titles, and two Amateur Athletic Union national titles. As he climbed, he left an indelible mark. His pinnacle amateur achievement was the Olympic gold in Rome, 1960, a global stage where Cassius Clay, representing the USA, was not just a victor, but the inception of a legend. Ali's punches resonated, but so did his beliefs. After securing the world heavyweight title against Sonny Liston in 1964, a bigger transformation was unfolding. Cassius Clay, amidst both acclaim and controversy, became Muhammad Ali. This wasn't a simple name change, it was an affirmation of his deep-seated beliefs in Islam and a commitment to a journey of spiritual introspection. Ali's audaciousness wasn't limited to his bouts. His refusal to participate in the Vietnam War draft, grounded in his religious beliefs, set the nation ablaze in debate. For three and a half years, he was barred from boxing, his titles stripped away. Yet these years were not in vain. They deepened his resolve and strengthened his stance as an activist. Later, when diagnosed with Parkinson's, Ali took on the challenge with the same medal, embodying resilience in the face of adversity. While the world was familiar with Ali's footwork and jabs, his rhythmic affinity found another outlet in I Am The Greatest, an album echoing his braggadocious yet endearing persona. His stage wasn't just the boxing ring. Ali dabbled in Broadway, showcasing a theatrical side with his role in Buck White. Away from the lights and audience, Ali had a softer touch, surprising fans with impromptu magic tricks, showcasing that behind the global icon was a man with a playful heart. Ali's roots extended beyond the American landscape. His ancestral quest led him to the lush greens of Ennis, Ireland, forging a bond with a lineage long lost. But Ali's outreach was global. Recognized as a UN messenger of peace, he was not just a fighter in the ring, but a crusader for global unity, children's rights, and peace initiatives. Amidst Ali's iconic fights with the likes of Joe Frazier, George Foreman, and Ken Norton, there were moments where he displayed unmatched humanity. A day in 1981 remains etched in memory when, devoid of cameras and scripts, Ali prevented a distraught man from taking his own life in Los Angeles. Years later, in 1996, amidst the glaring lights of the Atlanta Olympics, the world saw Ali, hands quivering but spirit unyielding, light the Olympic cauldron, drawing a full circle to his Olympic legacy. In the grand tapestry of history, certain individuals stand tall, casting shadows that linger long after they're gone. Muhammad Ali was one such colossus. More than just a boxer, he was a beacon of hope, resilience, and conviction. From the streets of Louisville to global arenas, his story wasn't just about punches, it was about the human spirit's undying flame. As we remember Ali, we're reminded of the power of standing firm in one's beliefs, the beauty of embracing our roots, and the magic of touching lives in simple yet profound ways. If Ali's story has inspired you, resonated with a part of your journey, or simply added a dose of motivation to your day, we invite you to show your support. Asterisk, asterisk. Please subscribe to our channel for more such tales of legends, and don't forget to like this video. By doing so, you become a part of a community that celebrates not just sporting greatness, 
but the essence of humanity that sports represent.